Purging is proven to enhance the quality of welds by decreasing or even preventing oxidization during the welding process. This ensures welds retain the corrosion resistant characteristics of the parent metals. As resistance to corrosion is one of the primary reasons users opt for stainless steel and high nickel alloys maintaining this characteristic throughout the manufacturing process is essential. Purging sheet metal produces a cleaner puddle for the welders to control the melt, minimize the heat affected zone, and eliminates oxidization. Since the has is a targeted for chemical attack, eliminating oxidization will preserve its corrosion resistance. Argon purging not only preserves the material chemical and mechanical properties, it also increases weld quality, welder performance, reduces leak rates, and increases productivity. When welds are purged, inert gas is used to purge or remove air from inside the hose. Argon is also used for the TIG welding process on the top side of the weld to shield the arc of the welding torch. Penplex recommends using industrial pure argon, especially when manually welding. There are three grades of argon, industrial, industrial pure, and pharmaceutical. Removing air from inside the hose requires using the right purging process. The purge process should have its own gas supply, separate from the welding torch. Proper containment of the gas is essential to eliminating most of the oxygen. This ensures successful back purging while reducing the amount of time needed to purge. Our welders use stainless steel purging tools designed and produced by Penplex for our hoses. The tool size range is from 1 quarter inch hose to 12 inch hose. They are for sale to fabricating customers as well. Purging should continue for no less than 30 seconds after welding is complete and the metal is no longer red and cooled. Now that you have an idea what weld purging is and how it is done, let's take a look at a few purge welds. There are several ways to tell whether a weld has been purged or not. When looking at the front side of the weld, there should be some discolorization. There may be lighter shades of gold and light blue marbling, but anything darker or more colorful would indicate a level of oxidization and thus inadequate argon coverage of the welding process. As mentioned earlier, welders can better control the melt when purging, so on the assembly, the silver color inside on the back side of the weld is an indication that this weld has been purged properly. Looking at the back side of the purge weld, you'll notice there is consistent silver and clean penetration. In contrast, a telltale sign of unpurged weld is a burn through. You can see gross oxidization in the form of gray crystallization. We call that sugaring. Weld purging is a best practice and Penflex is committed to seeing it become the industry standard through education on its inherent benefits and with our purge tools. We've got an engineering bulletin on the topic on Penflex.com if you would like to learn more.